In this video, I'm going to show you how the um, email feature in Brightspace works. So in the na mini nav bar on the top of your screen here, you have a button for um, message alerts, which looks like a little envelope. And this um, feature here will open up the messages and the email options through Brightspace. So right now, if um, I go, um, if I look at this, I can see there's an orange dot associated with this email tool and um, this means I have a new email that has come in through Brightspace okay so if I go into when I click on that I can see the message here that just came through and it tells me it's in the last two minutes um, I can click on that to open it or I can also go into the email option and view all emails okay now as a default your view is in what they call preview pane, which means the top part of this section shows you your inbox and you have to scroll down to see your messages. Okay. And when you first open this, th this might be all the way down to the bottom. So when you click on it, um, on the message, okay, it doesn't look like anything changed on the screen, but if I move this bar up, I can see that message that came through. Okay. To eliminate this, I think this is very hard to read this way. So what I would recommend that you do is go into um, the settings option in the right hand corner. And under your display options, turn off the show message preview pane. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and save it. Okay, so now the difference is I don't have a split screen anymore. And now when I click on an email, I'm going to actually have a window that pops up with the email. Okay. So that's one setting that I would highly recommend that you turn off. Okay. This way you can easily see the email opens. You can actually read it. You can um, see if there's, um, you know, you can reply to it, you can close it, do whatever you need to do with it. Okay. Now I'm scrolling down the bottom and I can actually see that there's a syllabus here as well. Now, one of the things you'll notice when you um, receive emails through Brightspace, they use a generic email to send these out. So if I look up here, I can see it's coming from Donna Samuel and here's the ID within Brightspace. And here's my student one text who, um, is the one that received this message. So this is a generic email, but it only affects and works within the system. So, and you'll see this here that you have to, you must reply to messages within side of Brightspace. Now, the reason why that pops up is I'm going to open up that same message that I got through my um, email, through my college email. Okay. So I'm going to look at this exact same message and I can see here, that this email came from and it says um, mail my learning .edu. That's the generic email that comes through Brightspace. So one of the things I can't do is I cannot reply to this email and have the person that sent it to me um, get a response back. It just kind of goes out in the cloud and the person never gets it. What you really should do is go back into um, Brightspace, and this is where you would want to reply to it from the Brightspace inbox folder. Okay. If you are going to reply here. Okay. Now this one, um, the instructor actually put their email address at the bottom. So if I select that and do a control C to copy or a command C on a Mac, I can reply, but I need to get rid of this generic email and paste in the correct email address. And then I can go ahead and write out my message and send it. Okay. So this is what I would have to do if I wanted to reply outside of Brightspace. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and close both those. But if I'm in Brightspace looking at these emails, I can go ahead and hit reply. It will automatically reply within Brightspace. And it has that generic email. So if I email my professor, say, um, yes, I did late last night as my response. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that. 
Okay. So I get a message and it says it's been successfully sent. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close that email. Now, if you want to, you can go in and um, you can select something and move it to the trash or you can mark it as red. Um, you can, you know, move it to different areas. You can actually create your own folders and everything in here um, under folder management. But, um, you know, it's up to you if I decide that, like, these ones here are all submissions of where I submitted an assignment and I don't really need those. So I can go ahead and move those to the trash so they're out of my inbox. Okay. Now, to go in and actually send a message to somebody from scratch, again, you would go to the, the um, little envelope at the top, go to email, and you're going to go to compose. Okay. Now, when you compose, what you want to do is you want to hit this to button here. It's actually a link. And you can actually go in and search for somebody. So I could put in... Um, and search for a person and I could go in and select that person add the recipient and then I can go in and um, type out my message and send it that will get sent within Brightspace they'll get that little orange dot on that envelope to let them know that they have an email it will also be sent out to e to the college email as well so they'll get a, a double message basically so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel that. Now, another way you can also email is from a course. So if I go back into a course, and let me just grab this one here. Okay. If I go to Course Tools and Roster, okay, and normally you would see a listing of the students in the class, and then you would also see your faculty underneath this role here. So you could find your faculty member in there, select their name here, and then go ahead and hit the email button. And this way you're not trying to search for them. It will automatically pull it in, um, and then you can go ahead and write your message and send it. Okay? So... Um, but you'll be able to tell by the role whether they're a student in the class or whether they're the faculty, the one that's actually teaching the class. So that's another way for you to go in and email.